I thought it was great. Gave me an opportunity to talk about the record, which is what I'm going to continue to do. Uh, it's, you know, not surprising that Senator Purdue was attacking me in my record because he didn't have a record of his own to run on. I think what was exposed last night is we have a governor who was embattled and who I think really um, showed the true colors of why he's a weak leader and why we need to make a change. Well, in case there was any doubt, we now know just how chippy the race is between Governor Brian Kemp and challenger David Perdue. The two Republicans faced off in their first debate ahead of the May 24th primary last night. And as Fox 5's Claire Sims reports, they had some tense exchanges. First of all, the only one line here is you. And that is a fact. Did you call a special? I, I, I did you call a special no, session? Did, did you stop the consent decree, Governor? I didn't no, have anything didn't. to do with of the consent decree. Of course you decree. didn't. That's why you failed. A heated showdown Sunday night between incumbent Governor Brian Kemp and the Republican who hopes to beat him in next month's primary, David Perdue. Georgia Gang panelist Martha Zoller says Purdue had the advantage in the first part of the debate because he drove the conversation to a topic he wanted, the 2020 election. He didn't back down from that. Uh, Governor Kemp uh, responded and it got pretty heated. Zoller, though, thinks Governor Kemp was able to regain his footing in the second half, though she thinks Democrat Stacey Abrams likely enjoyed watching the two Republicans fight it out. She's loving this. She doesn't, you know, we're fighting with each other and she's not having to defend anything that she's doing and she's just racking in the money and waiting for things to come. Moving forward, Zoller says both Republicans need to share more with Georgia voters about their plans for the future, starting with Governor Kemp. So he has done an amazing job of economic development. He should talk about that. He did an amazing job managing through the pandemic. He should talk about that. Um, and I think from, from Senator Perdue, the same thing. He's got to give a better answer on how he's going to unite the party because the message yesterday was from him was really for the people he should already have. Um, these people should already be voting for him. So what is his message going to be to get the people that are not as hardline about stop the steal as he is and to get those people to get him to 50%. Kemp and Purdue will square off in two more televised debates, one Thursday in Savannah and one Sunday hosted by the Atlanta Press Club. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.